Okay, this is going to be a very short video about this kind of commentary. This is slightly edited from a screenshot from a video that was uploaded. People's response to, to statistics being posted that men are lonely, um, which is an actual problem. Um, you could substitute it with depression or not wanting to exist anymore and actively trying to prevent themselves from doing so since YouTube absolutely censors anybody talking about sensitive subjects these days. The privileged life of these poor little boys, and then a bunch of comments on misogyny, must have that their biggest problem is being lonely. And then the person immediately denigrates the subject matter of needing to call into a helpline by saying that they're insufferable, horrible people because they can't get laid, which is a massively misogynistic thing to say. So I'm going to explain this pretty simple. Um, <clears throat> you know that quiet quitting thing where everybody's absolutely right and saying, yeah, I don't want to work for a system that doesn't give me anything in return that is worth putting in potentially shortening my life expectancy. Um, I'm a victim of domestic violence, so uh, be sure to throw some random nasty shit in the comment section. I can't trust anyone anymore because someone tried actively to murder me. And it's not post-traumatic stress syndrome, just get over it, which is another thing I've heard, or get therapy from therapists that are literally told to constantly bring up, what did you do to deserve that? Only men get told that in an actual therapy session, and I'm not bullshitting you that happened. I immediately explained that I was going to complain to, you know, their professor at a college. I found out everything about the person who walked in and said, you're going to be required to explain this to your professor because the person was locally trained. And, well, I won't. I'm like, yes, you will. She's here. His professor told him that he's disgusting and needs to remove himself from this kind of business. I'm actually very angry at seeing these kind of comments. And it's not a video explaining that this obviously shouldn't be happening. First of all, if you're needing help, I recommend that you be extremely biased and prejudiced in how you request help by saying, I demand help from someone who isn't going to blame me for being miserable entirely. I understand that a lot of my misery in life comes from me making really stupid decisions in the past I can't go back and fix. Always understand that for emotional and psychological health, I avoid people who make me miserable. I am not required to make a person like the one who tried to kill me happy because that's learned helplessness and, uh, should we call it, battered husband syndrome. Another comment, I mean, you can see a whole bunch of them. It's on a YouTube video you can watch. People saying, don't don't be a Nazi and don't be racist and don't be... What has this got to do with... Oh, it's because you're presuming, like the last two sentences here, that the reason a person is miserable or lonely has something to do with their dating or their political orientation or something. Because it's always brought up in the men's rights uh, movement idea. You know what? The majority of men are not in that movement. The majority of men that are being polled are simply people who are victims of horrible, horrible existence. We live in a world right now that being a man means that you're treated as a piece of machinery. If you're sick, you're supposed to play hurt, work sick, work extra hours, work overtime and not get paid for it, just like every one of you complains about. But when someone says, I'm miserable and, and sad on the internet, and this is only on the internet, no one would say this to my face without you know, getting an earful like you might be hearing right now. On the internet, everybody's a badass. Everybody can talk smack like this. Claiming you're privileged because you were born male. Yes, there is some of that. I understand that. But that has nothing to do with I'm miserable because I've come to the conclusion that having a higher likelihood of dying early from heart attack or cancer because I can't afford medical coverage isn't just a male problem. Okay? So telling people that their real problem is that they're insufferable or they're Nazis or racist or whatever, having anything to do with getting laid, in spite of the fact that 
if you haven't noticed lately, neo-Nazis are having a party in this country, and they're getting laid more often than a lot of people. I, I'm not I'm not kidding about that. I'm I'm a I'm a flaming liberal. All Nazis deserve to be just thrown into the ocean and pushed under. But um, if you believe that they're somehow miserable, you haven't paid attention to what they are like. They find other like-minded, no-minded individuals and have fun. Okay, and again, yelling at somebody who, in all likelihood, especially in the liberal crowd that I'm in, <clears throat> has nothing to do with whatever you're projecting on them, doesn't help anything. So let's get a couple of clues here. A very small number of mass murderers and people who do mass shootings are miserable, lonely men who are incels. Or are they all incels? Are you assuming everybody's an incel if they're lonely on the internet? The other, the other statements are things that have nothing to do with having a close relationship with someone that will be solid and maintainable. Meanwhile, the insufferable behavior of people deciding that this is a zero-sum game, that if men aren't miserable, some other group has to be. Uh, do, do you really believe the universe is built that way, to where it's a positive and negative yin and yang thing? And uh, I, I've seen people post comments in other videos where they said that as long as men are miserable, women will be better off. And all the way going to l literally talking about exterminating men. And when you see that online, it does have an effect on you. Especially since someone tried to do that to me because I reminded her of her dad. That was the reason she had the butcher knife. Originally, she said she loved me because I reminded her of her dad. And her age range was pretty similar, by the way. I'd, I'd never understood that, and it was because, and you'll love this, <clears throat> because I had a bad leg at the time. My leg was healing up from an injury. That's what I got told later, through a lawyer. And then it triggered memories in her, and she's in therapy. And I'm like, okay, but, you know, the police showing up and her getting hauled away for attempted murder. Yeah. So for those of you out there, some of us aren't insufferable and can't get laid. It's that we're told to go to hell when we mention, oh, by the way, I'm not happy about relationships because I can't compel myself to take the chance again because someone tried to take my life. Uh, sorry for this really nasty uh, kind of thing, but men feeling lonely or undervalued isn't some privileged person whining. You're talking about half of the human population potentially, definitively in the United States, that are feeling as if they're not valued, and then your response to them is to tell them you don't value them. I'm not asking you to care. I don't care if you care. I'm asking all of you that do this kind of shit online to understand that you're not helping things. And I'm not telling you that you should care and you should change your ways. I've learned on the internet that just makes people worse. I'm telling you to shut the fuck up. I'm actually furious right now. I normally don't get this angry. I've had people literally threaten to kill me on, in the comment section. I've had people post videos about it, especially right before they went to jail for impersonating a federal marshal in one case. But I will tell you this. I have never been this rattled angry as looking at this fucking comment here. And this is the edited version. The reason you're lonely, the reason you can't find joy in life is because you're an insufferable person because you can't get laid? And that's not a comment that was aimed at me. That's just generally aimed at any guy who isn't able to find a life that's fulfilling. We were all tricked decades ago into believing in the American dream of getting a house, a picket fence, having 1.5 children, or whatever the heck it was that you might interpret it as. And that was sold to us with the bill of goods that we had to go into debt to get a house. But we get it after a 30-year mortgage. Now it's go into debt, get the house, almost pay it off, and sell it off just before you end up going to an old folks' home. And then now, now, now it's not that anymore. You can't even do that because you can't afford the medical bills. And because you're living too long, apparently that's, that's fucked up the system. We're not dying fast enough. By the way, people said that men should just die. That was another comment. But the other thing is, now we're at the point where 
it doesn't matter how long you work or how hard you work. You're going to end up being homeless in an alley someday before you drop dead of old age or cancer or something. That's, that's, that's your future as a human. If you're lucky, you'll be in a convalescent home and they won't unplug you. That's the future we all face. This is the world. You're soaking in it. And it isn't a zero-sum game. If you're being drowned, you don't have to pull down the others to try to get to the top. You can just drain the shit pit and get out. You can't do that if people keep stomping on you. And yes, some groups of people believe that if another group isn't miserable, they can't be happy. That's literally their mindset. Don't have that mindset. Don't give in to that. Because that's actually how the Nazis work, too, ironically enough. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Good luck with that. Sorry for the rant.